Covering space news now, leaders are working to find a solution for a damaged spaceship. It was supposed to bring two cosmonauts and a NASA astronaut back to Earth. Right now, the capsule docked to the International Space Station is dealing with a, a large leak. News 6's James Barbero has the story. And this is uh, the issue that's under discussion right now here in Mission Control as to what may be causing this stream of particles. Days after International Space Station cameras showed a leak on Russia's Soyuz capsule, the Russian space agency now says a micrometeorite or space debris might have struck the spaceship, damaging its cooling system. What could be a coolant fluid. In its update Monday, Russia also says there's now a possibility two cosmonauts and NASA astronaut Frank Rubio can no longer ride this Soyuz home when their mission in space ends. The question is, can the spacecraft safely carry its three crew members back to Earth at the end of March as currently planned, or might they declare it non-flight worthy? CBS space consultant Bill Harwood says if Russia decides not to return the crew on the leaking capsule, the next Russian spaceship scheduled to fly to the station would be their ride home. That capsule would launch without a crew to make room for the crew in space now. Harwood says they can't ride an American capsule home without the life support systems, spacesuits, and enough seats in SpaceX's Dragon to handle three extra crew members. The Russians say this is not an emergency. It's not a crisis in the sense they have to make a decision today. They certainly won't come down until March, regardless of how this plays out. But it's unknown as to which vehicle is going to carry them home. The Russian space agency says it will make that decision by the end of the month. On the Space Coast, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.